Could you turn the TV down? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hi guys. Okay, so this video I'm going to show you my son because he's really cute and adorable. And I'm going to give you a little info on my labor and stuff because I haven't made a video about it, but I'm going to make a video on my labor and delivery eventually. I just haven't had any time at all. Basically, I went into labor November 26th at 1.30 a.m. And that's when I like, that's when I realized I was probably in labor because I had pains that I'd never felt before. And we tried to time them, but we just decided not to because we were having trouble with the phone and we don't have a watch. Um, and it was just really hard to, for me to tell him, I, I have a contraction or I'm having a contraction because I didn't know what they were. And so, <clears throat> and so we just gave up on that and just waited. Around four, well, we got to the hospital at 4.30. Okay, well, around four, he was eating chicken noodle soup because we were just waiting it out because I didn't want to go to the hospital and then be like, it's a false alarm and send me back home. So around four o'clock, he was eating chicken noodle soup and I just started screaming at him, we need to go to the hospital. So we did that, and we got there at 4.30, and they they said I was in labor, and my contractions were steady, but I wasn't dilating at all, really. I had like one centimeter. They sent me home. We got out of there around 6. They sent me home, told me to come back in two hours, or told me to go to my doctor in two hours, and then she would check me and see if I had to go back to the hospital. So I went home, waited two hours. Well, I went to my mom's house, waited two hours, and went to the doctor. She said I was still only one centimeter, and she said to wait two hours and then go to the hospital, and she was going to um, break my water. So we waited two hours, went back to the hospital, they admitted me. By that time my contractions were very intense, it, you can see in, my other vi in one of my other videos where I'm just breathing hard. I didn't, I didn't scream in the hospital because I hate, when, I hate, to me it's being dramatic, but I'm sure if I had let my, my labor be not, like, no medication, I would have been screaming my head off and probably ripping apart the bed because I was already starting to break the rails on the bed because I didn't scream but on the way there I was screaming my head off in the car and um, so after I got there they said I was two centimeters so I was starting to dilate no okay well they got the epidural first I don't remember much because I was just in pain they got my epidural going first, which was very painful for me. I don't know why it was so painful. Um, it made, I thought it was not, I thought it was gonna like paralyze me because it was doing weird things to me and making me feel pain, like numbing pain in, in like my thighs or something. And I thought I was gonna be paralyzed, but they said it was normal even though I kept feeling the pain after they took the needle out. They broke more water. I was in labor for 17 hours total. They're pushing at around six and, or a little before six. But we had to wait for my doctor to get there. And um, so they had me push a little until he started to crown. And then the doctor got there and we delivered him in like, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> in like 10 minutes. Um, it was really hard because if you've had an epidural, or if you haven't had an epidural, you don't feel anything, right? So, I don't, I couldn't feel anything, and I know you're supposed to push like you're having a bowel movement, and I couldn't, I couldn't feel anything, I couldn't feel myself pushing, I couldn't do, I didn't, I, didn't, I basically felt like I was just sitting and just doing nothing, so, or I was just laying there doing nothing, so, I felt like I was doing no work at all, but, Luckily, in between the contractions, I think, he was actually forcing himself out of my, out of me. So he was pushing his way out of me. So I think that's what made it go by so fast. Um, but when he started to 
like when his head came out and everything, um, he had his umbilical cord wrapped around him twice. But luckily my doctor was able to cut the umbilical cord and he just popped right out. So he was born within like 10 minutes of when I started to push. Um, it was really fast delivery, just really long labor, at least it felt like it. <laughs> I slept through most of my labor though because I had the epidural. But I had, um, I don't know what it's called, some kind of bacteria or something. Some weird something strep. Something strep. And they had to give me antibiotics. And that stuff burns. That makes your whole arm go numb. I, it's, that was really painful. That was just as painful as the contractions, at least, to me. Contractions were worse, but at the same time, the antibiotics were bad. But I don't know. They were just terrible together. I was born at exactly 6.39 p.m. November 26, 2012. He weighs six pounds. He weighed six pounds twelve ounces. We left when we left the hospital. His discharge weight was six pounds seven ounces. So yeah, um, I'll just show him. He's one week and two days old today. I'm trying to get him when he's like kind of awake. But this is him. This is little Travis. He's kind of asleep right now. He's kind of, he's kind of asleep. He's, he sleeps like all day, so. I'm trying to get him awake. Yeah, you're out. He's a really, really good baby. Um, he sleeps just like his dad, though. Like, he sleeps through anything. And we always have noise going on, so he, he's not one of those babies that, once you get him to sleep, you have to keep the room completely silent, which is why I'm able to talk right now, and he won't wake up. And the TV's on, he won't wake up. Corey's moving around, so if he drops something really loud, all he's going to do is probably just jump and go back to sleep. So he's actually a really good baby. Right? Yeah, you're a good baby. He only cries when he's hungry and all that good stuff, normal baby stuff. He doesn't cry, he doesn't cry just to be held. Um, so far, everything's been good. Um... He's already started to move his head. He started at three days old. Like, what? What'd you say? Oh, yeah. Um, he started... Thank you. I'll just wait. You see what daddy does? Yeah, daddy's so neat. You know exactly. Yep, that's my husband. Just turn on the vacuum while I'm in the middle of the video. Anyway, he started to lift his head up at around three days old, two or three days old, I think about three, um, which is actually, I guess it's, I don't know if it's common, but every time someone holds him, they're like, oh my god, his head's rolling around like crazy, or he's lifting his head up already. Um, he's already trying to roll over on his stomach. I don't know when they're supposed to do that, and no one really believes us when we tell them that, but... He actually is trying whenever he's awake and active, which is like never. He only wakes up once in the middle of the night for you to feed him and change him. And then he'll wake up again in the morning around like six. He's gonna wake up. We don't know what color eyes he has yet, but cause they live with that. He wasn't born with blue eyes, like all babies are born with. Um, he was born with these dark colored eyes, but they're not like brown like mine, but they're, they have like a bluish tint to them, but they're really dark. Um, so we don't, we, we're hoping he'll have colored eyes like his dad, but he might not. That's okay. As of right now, they're like a charcoal gray, or charcoal blue. They're like a charcoal blue. So... Yeah, hopefully, hopefully you'll have colored eyes. Yeah, you're just sleeping. So, um, that's my update for him. Um, for all you guys who just wanna 
see what he looks like who don't follow me on Instagram because I have a ton of pictures on Instagram and on my Facebook page. Mostly on Instagram though because I have I had the most time to do it on that. If you haven't already, follow me on Facebook if you want to keep up to date on what I do since I'm not always on Facebook. I mean YouTube. And my Instagram. If you like the pictures and all, because that that's where I upload like all his pictures, Instagram. And I will I will upload be uploading a video of the first week of his life whenever the first week of his life is over. At least at home. Play. And um, then I'll edit that and put that up as soon as that's done. So be waiting for that one. And I will see you guys later. Say bye bye, Travis. No bye bye. Say bye bye. No bye bye. Okay. No bye bye. Alright. Don't forget to su subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys later.